Do you suffer of HPLS when mixing? Now, if you don't know what HPLS is, let me show you. Let's go on this channel and insert a plugin. Let's go with a compressor. So I'm gonna go under dynamics and uh, look for a compressor. Okay. Um, okay that is a huge plugin list. And you have it. That is HPLS, the huge plugin list syndrome. Hey, what's going on? Chris Salim here from Mixdown Online. Let's talk about HPLS. And I want to uh, just make a shout out to Colt Caperoon. I don't know if you know Colt. He's an amazing YouTuber, amazing music producer, recording engineer, uh, mixing engineer. Go watch his YouTube channel. I'm a huge fan. I don't know him personally, but his YouTube channel is just amazing. Now, Colt published a video a few weeks ago called These Plugins Are Useless. I'm going to leave the link down below. In a nutshell, what Colt is uh, sharing in this video uh, is how uh, working with a huge plugin list can be a, like a huge time waster when mixing. And this is something that can slow us down, um, can make us lose perspective when mixing, uh, and also be way less efficient, okay? Um, and this is something we need to pay attention to. And I'm actually guilty of this myself. Look at my plugin list, how huge it is, you know? Um, like, let's look at the EQ list. You know, it's crazy. I have like, hundreds of EQ plugins, it's crazy. I do have a YouTube channel, so I do some plugin reviews. So of course I'm gonna end up with a huge plugin list at some point. I know I'm not the only one, a lot of you also have a lot of plugins and can actually waste a lot of time when mixing. Uh, and what I wanna show you is an amazing feature that we have in Cubase that is gonna solve and cure HPLS, okay? So let's jump in Cubase and check this out. Okay, now I'm gonna show you what I do on my side to save time when mixing. Because let's face it, if I just spend my time looking for plugins throughout the general plugin list in Cubase, it's just gonna drive me crazy. Even if I know the actual plugin I wanna work with, I'm gonna be distracted by all the other plugins that I might be tempted to try out. And when I mix a song, uh, you know, on a professional level for a client, for myself, you know, uh, like music to be released, I'm not gonna spend time to try out new plugins. I'm gonna do this afterwards on its own time, you know, not while I'm working. So what I do, I use the VST plugin manager. Uh, look at this, I'm gonna go on their studio, go down to VST plugin manager, and I have all the plugins installed on my computer. And on the right side, I have a bunch of folders. Now, those are the default folders I have access to, and we can uh, sort them by category or by vendor. Uh, now, I also create myself my favorite plugins that I like to work with, that I know pretty well, um, that I'm not gonna waste time, um, you know, getting distracted by other types of plugins. But I have my own personalized plugin folder that I work with when I mix. So this way I don't waste any time looking for my plugins and being distracted by other plugins that I could be tempted to try out when mixing. So. This is my plugin list. So on my side, I have uh, like a folder for my top limiters, my go-to trans and designers, gates, uh, de-essers, uh, channel strips, um, delays, reverbs, uh, saturation, uh, compressors, uh, EQs, you know, and other types of plugins that I like to work with. So I know exactly uh, what I need and what I'm looking for by going through these condensed plugin lists of the plugins I work with on a regular basis. And when I wanna look for a plugin, under insert, let's insert a plugin from my list, there's that small uh, arrow aiming down that I'm gonna click on and I'm gonna select Chris Fav, which is my favorite uh, plugin folder. And once I select it, it's always gonna be on the next time I open the plugin. All right, and now I have my folders and I can choose a plugin of my choice. So I was looking for a compressor. Let's go with the FET 76 by Arturia for this one. And there you go, very fast and efficient. And I can start mixing with that compressor. 
So this is the way that I like to work. Now, if you want to set up your own plugin list, go back to the plugin uh, manager window and click on the plus sign, which is going to give you access to create a new collection. Let's go with an empty one. Let's call this one test for this video. I'm going to click on OK. So now by clicking on vendor, I'm going to have all those plugins categorized by uh, the vendor, the company that produces the plugins. So let's go with the plugin alliance. Uh, let's say uh, BX Solo. I love this plugin. I'm going to drag it down under that collection. Uh, the Dangerous EQ. Let's go with this one. Uh, let's go look for a um, Waves plugins. All right, let's go with uh, CLA76. Now I have like two, three plugins under my collection. I can stop there, but I can go a step further like I did on my side and create a folder. So if you want to create a folder for compressors, there you go. You just create your own folder and then create the second one. Let's go with the EQ like I did. And there you go. And just drag and drop those uh, plugins straight in the and their uh, specific folders and there you go and you can do it straight from uh, the left side the plugin list to uh, the folder directly so i'm going to drag the dbx 160 inside the compressor folder and there you go okay so next time i go and insert a plugin i'm going to have i'm going to be into my test collection and i'm going to have the list of the folders i created and the plugins that are inside those folders. So this is what you're gonna end up getting if you're, uh, if you're doing something similar to what I did on my side. So, and it makes plugin selection fast and it's gonna keep my focus on mixing the song more than looking for plugins when mixing. So it speeds up my entire mixing workflow. And this is very important when mixing because the goal is you want to go from A to Z in the fast and efficient way. So the cool thing is that you can also access these plugins from the left zone of the uh, of the project window under media. Click on VST effects and there you go. All of my folders are listed with the plugins ready to be inserted and dragged into a channel. Again, it's a very fast way to insert plugins that I know well and that I like to work with. You can do the same if I go back to the VST uh, plugin manager, you can do the same with virtual instruments. So let's go under VST instruments on top. I'm gonna create a new collection. VSTi Chris, let's click on okay. Uh, go with, uh, let's go drag this one on and uh, Alien Sonic. So next time I want to insert an instrument that I work with on a regular basis, I just need to go under uh, VST Instruments and choose the collection I want to work with. I can just drag and drop that instrument into my session and I'm good to go in a very fast and efficient way. So this is how you can cure HPLS if you work in Cubase. Leave your questions and comments down below. Don't forget to share, like and subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Until next time, take care and see you.